My name is Jennifer Austin, and I'm the Chief Executive Officer of Global Skin, the International Alliance of Dermatology Patient Organizations. And our organization is an alliance of more than 200 dermatology patient organizations in over 65 countries, representing more than 55 disease areas in dermatology. Global Skin was founded during the World Congress of Dermatology in 2015 in Vancouver. So there are very strong ties between our organization and the WCD, as well as, of course, the ILDS. And the reason that this founding happened at the WCD 2015 was that there was a desire to have a patient presence at that conference. And uh, our founding CEO, Christine Janis, wanted to take that a step further and to actually organize a side meeting with dermatology patient organizations from around the world. And they found that there was so much in common across all of their organizations and a desire to work together toward achieving common goals for dermatology patients in their countries. And so that is how Global Skin was formed. The vision of Global Skin is to create a world where people with dermatological conditions are healthy and fulfilled. And the way that we do that as an organization is in three different ways. One is to elevate the voice of the dermatology patient community. So that's to help them grow and professionalize and to build their capacity to support their patients around the world. The next is to champion the common interests of people who are affected by these diseases globally. So that's for us to speak together with one voice. And the final way that we achieve our mission is through uniting the global dermatology community as a whole. So this goes beyond just the patient organizations. This includes healthcare professionals like dermatologists, researchers, industry, derm nurses, all the people that work together to improve the care and treatment for patients living with these conditions. While our organization is working with patient organizations directly, we're also working very closely with organizations like the ILDS because we have many common goals. And it's important that as a community that we do work together to achieve this because we can't really do as much separately as we can together as a team. One of our goals as an organization is to work with dermatological societies more closely. And that means global skin working more closely with those organizations, but also with our member organizations working with dermatological societies in their own countries. We think that there can be a really significant benefit for both organizations as well as the patients that they serve. We know that dermatologists are very busy and under pressure uh, to be able to treat many patients in a day. And our view is that dermatological patient organizations can really help to fill gaps that perhaps that they have and they are not able to um, have addressed in their in-clinic appointments. They often want to talk about the psychological impact of their diseases, the sociological issues that they're having and relating to other people because of their diseases. Patient organizations can really help with this. And uh, in our view, it's a partnership between the patient organizations and the dermatologists to be able to give that holistic care and attention that, that patients so need. Another way that patient organizations and dermatological societies can work together is around education and awareness campaigns. When you're planning your World Skin Health Days, we hope that you will reach out to your local patient organizations because those organizations would be very interested in uh, working together to educate the public about these diseases and also about how people can keep their skin healthy so that they don't go on later on to develop things like skin cancers. So there is a real opportunity for dermatological societies to connect with those organizations to make meaningful change together. The patient organizations that we work with around the world are very interested in staying on top of the cutting edge science around their diseases. This is particularly relevant for rare diseases. And we know obviously that the vast majority of dermatological diseases are in fact rare. These patient organizations are often champions for research 
and they uh, are either helping to start research where research is not happening, or they're happy to be involved with research so that they can get their patients involved in clinical trials and, and other types of research to give them hope and to provide them with some empowerment uh, over their diseases. So they're, they're great partners. Please consider reaching out to patient organizations. Many of these organizations have experience in doing research and are very open to working with researchers and to help also define some of the things that are most meaningful to patients that could be explored in research projects. So this could be a partnership that you may want to think about pursuing. It's an amazing opportunity for dermatology patient organizations to come to a conference like the World Congress of Dermatology because they have the opportunity to learn about new developments around their disease. They get to hear about your research and about your findings. And this is really helpful because it helps them to guide their patients towards clinical trials or to get involved in studies and to provide their patients with hope because often there are no treatments for uh, the rare diseases and so to know that there's actually work that's being done this is an incredible thing to be able to bring back to their patients when they come back from a world congress of dermatology the other thing that patients uh, patient leaders are able to achieve in coming to the wcd is to connect with each other and to connect with you and uh, I think that that's a great opportunity for them to be able to learn from you as dermatologists and healthcare professionals, and also for you to be able to learn from them. We have a patient village that will be uh, set up at the WCV, and we hope that you will come and visit with our patient organizations and to uh, be able to make those connections. People living with dermatological diseases have a lot in common. And one of the things that we see that is something experienced by so many of these patients is the psychosocial impact of having a dermatological disease or condition. And this starts with the minimization of diseases where people say, to the patient, oh, well, it's just a skin disease. And obviously we as patient advocates and you as dermatologists know that it's more than just a skin condition, that this is something that affects the entire uh, body. This is something that has a great impact on overall health, but also the mental health. And so people are made to feel guilty for being concerned about the fact that they have a skin disease. At the same time, they are also excluded often from society because they look different and uh, they're stigmatized. And so this is a terrible position for patients to be in. They're, they're told that they shouldn't be so concerned about their disease and yet it affects so many aspects of their lives because it's often very visible. So if I could make a perfect world, uh, I would create one where people around the world are much more understanding and accepting of people with skin diseases and this would then help patients in being more accepting of their conditions, feeling more free to talk about the burden of their disease. And um, ultimately, I think if there was more attention and there was more understanding, there would also be more of a desire to develop new treatments, to do more research around these conditions, which would then hopefully result in better treatments, potentially also cures, and uh, new ways to help patients cope. On behalf of all of the patient organizations that will be attending the WCD, we're all very much looking forward to seeing you in Singapore.